In this short tutorial, we will be using Final Cut Pro's Chroma Key to quickly make a green screen background transparent so we can then easily combine it with another background. Final Cut Pro's Chroma Keying effect is optimized for blue or green screen keying but can key any range of color you choose. We'll start by selecting the clip in the timeline and then opening up the effects panel and navigating to the video keying section. We'll drag and drop the key onto the clip and then navigate to the video inspector to see the keying options. By default, the key works automatically to detect the green dominant color and then making it transparent. If the resulting key needs improving, you can adjust the chroma key effect. Use the strength slider to adjust the tolerance of the Kia effects automatic sampling. The default value is 100%. Reducing this value results in less transparency in the keyed image. Increasing the value results in more transparency in the keyed image. In the view options, we'll select the matte view to see the matte that the chroma key is creating. This can make it much easier to see areas that are not keying well. White areas are opaque and black areas are transparent and shades of grey indicate varying levels of transparency. We'll start by clicking the sample colour thumbnail image in the video inspector and draw a rectangle in the viewer over the area where the colour needs to be removed. To achieve a good key you want your subject to be white and the background to be black and the edges to be grey. To refine the edge detail we'll click the edges thumbnail image and draw a line across the edge area in the viewer. Dragging the line's handle adjusts the edge softness. If need be, you can use the fill holes and edge distance options to refine the mat even further. And you can adjust the spill level control to fine tune any green spill that may be appearing on the image. To go back to the composite view, we'll click the composite button. The color selection and mat tool controls are available for further fine tuning. The chroma and luma controls allow you to refine the range of hue, saturation and image lightness that define the keyed matte. The matte tools are for refining the matte, letting you shrink, expand, soften or invert the matte to achieve a better composite. We'll finish up by adding some light wrap to better blend the colour and brightness values from the background layer of your composite with the keyed foreground layer. We'll make final adjustments to the scale and position properties of the keyed image so it sits better in the composition. 